Tuesday's Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. And you're seeing that little bit of sunshine there on Ed's live shot out of Gettysburg. The sunshine is what's contributing to some instability in the atmosphere, and enough so with some stronger winds aloft that we have a newly issued tornado watch here for Franklin and Adams County. This was issued just about a couple hours ago, and it goes until 9 o'clock this evening. Now, a watch means conditions are favorable. It does not mean that a tornado is imminent, just you want to be on the alert. That's when we get into the watch mode here, and it's really just confined to our southwestern counties. Radar right now is extremely quiet across the Susquehanna Valley. A little farther down to the south, though, we are starting to see these scattered showers and thunderstorms popping up with the daytime heating. Areas down here have been baking in the sunshine all day long. In fact, a lot of temperatures here into the uh, mid to upper 80s in a lot of places. Super Doppler 8 radar network, though, showing where the problem spots are here. A couple of these stronger cells, and they're generally moving off to uh, move from the south to the north. But as you can see across the Susquehanna Valley, a pretty extensive cloud deck in place. And and that's keeping a lot of us stable. For, so for the most part, as we go through the rest of this evening, if we do see some of those stronger storms, they will be mainly to our west and to our southwest. And I think farther east, mainly east of the Susquehanna River, you don't have to worry about much in the way of showers at all, just uh, mostly cloudy skies, at least for this evening. And it will stay muggy. Those temperatures mid-70s dropping into the mid-60s. Now tonight, I do believe we will see scattered showers and even a few thunderstorms widespread across our region, kind of par for the course the past couple of nights with some of these storms that have been moving through. But I think the severe threat will uh, dwindle pretty quickly tonight. Into tomorrow, stays mostly cloudy. I do think we'll start off with a period of fog in the morning and then showers and thunderstorms again. The chances for them uh, with those temperatures into the upper 70s to near 80 degrees in some spots. But you really see where a cold front is now pushing from east to west. Ahead of that front, very mild air. Chambersburg at 82, 78 in Gettysburg. But as you can see, temperatures in the mid to upper 60s elsewhere. So I'm keeping the highest threat for the severe weather as we go through the next couple of hours, really here in the Franklin County. Area, perhaps as far east as western Adams County, really just a lower chance elsewhere. And then you go farther to the east, just some showers. And it's all responsible because of this system out to our west, an upper level low that is carving its way, bringing a lot of moisture and uh, enough lift to see some of these showers and thunderstorms forming. So here's the uh, predictors we go through the rest of this evening. Here's that front I was talking about. As it pushes to the west, it will help to fire some of those showers and storms. Could be some heavier downpours into the north and west part of the state. But for the most part, I think we stay rain free, at least in. Until we go into the early morning hours, then we'll start to see some showers and thunderstorms arriving. The morning commute could be a little on the wet side. Tomorrow afternoon, much of the same story showers and thunderstorms again. The chances for them as a warm front pushes off to the east. We get in more southwesterly flow on Friday and it warms up, but again, the chance for more showers and thunderstorms as a cold front arrives by the afternoon. But that does set the stage for a pretty nice weekend ahead as we look to Saturday and, of course, to Father's Day itself. Comfortable, warm, low humidity, and a lot of sunshine all through the weekend. In fact, Five weekends in a row. It would make five weekends in a row of some very nice weather. The humidity comes back up Monday, Tuesday, and the chance for storms arrives again as we go to the middle of next week. Uh, today's kids art comes to us from Paige Cunningham, who is a fifth grader out of Clearview Elementary in the Red Lion area. And very nice work on that sunshine there, Paige. Looking for some sunshine for all of us, I think. Uh, thanks so much for sending that one in. And our weather watcher umbrella winner today is Esther Palm of Mifflin. So congrats to you, Esther. And that's brought to you by the Whitaker Center in Harrisburg.